Today is my last day in Rome. I'm leaving at 5.30, so we got up at like 6.30, and we're going to St. Peter's Basilica to be there. We, we were running a bit late, but we were wanting to be there by 7.30, but I think we'll definitely be there by 8. So hopefully we'll beat the crowds. And then we're going to the Vatican Museums. We're in the line for the Basilica. <laughs> We just saw the Pope's address and it was really cool. Now we're going to the Vatican Museum. In the two and a half hours, we um, skipped the first half of the museum and we went to the Sistine Chapel and didn't even know that we'd been in there two and a half hours, like getting there, but it took so long to get there and like so long to get out. And Where now we we're going? doing the second half. There? I think so, yeah, here. And we weren't allowed to take photos or videos in the Sistine what we Chapel. Did. <laughs> we like took some on the way in and then they told us to stop. We finished everything and now we're trying to get out. We are going against the crowd, but we don't know how to get out. The exit. We found it. We are made it to Trust de Ver and we are looking for some gelato. <laughs> Apparently there's a one of the best places in Rome is here. So we hopefully we find it. But yeah, we got the tram, I think. After we got a bus and it went the oh, it like started going this way and then went the other way, so we had to get off and get the tram back. We made it in the end. Got the uh, chocolate chip and a cream biscuit one. And I can't really pronounce the real names, but yes. <laughs>
I am now at the train station, about to catch my train to Florence. It's 10 to 5, my train is at like 12 minutes past 5, so I don't know which platform I'm supposed to go to yet, but I'm by the departures board, kind of. But yeah, a few things about today. Um, if you're going to the St. Peter's Basilica, I recommend going really early. We went at 7.30 in the morning and there was still like quite a lot of people there, but the lines were not super long, so it was a really good time to go. Um, if you're going on a Wednesday, there is probably going to be the Pope's address, which means the actual basilica won't be open until 2 p.m. So I didn't actually get to go inside the basilica, but I got to see Pope Francis, which was pretty cool. Like, I'm not even Catholic, but it was like pretty surreal seeing him because I've seen him like all over the news and everything. So that was really cool. And then we went to see the Vatican Museums, and we were there for a good like four hours. It, there was a lot to see and we um a good tip is to download the uh, rick steve i think yeah rick steve's audio europe so it has like free audio guides and you like download them in advance and then you listen to them as you go around the places like the roman forum Colosseum, vatican museums like pretty much everything to do with like every country in europe and it tells you all the history and stuff so you don't have to buy a like tour or an audio guide or anything because it's just free so it's really good that we did that so we knew what was like going on because otherwise you're just like walking around not really knowing any of the history or like what any of the buildings mean or anything so that was really good i also really recommend making friends with the people from your hostel because it was super nice to have someone with me to like talk to as i went around that like a whole day that would have been like by myself it would have been okay but it was really nice to have a person with me that i could talk to and it wasn't just like me not knowing what to do really so it's really nice if you are able to make friends with the people that are at your hostel. I'm trying to edit my Athens vlogs while on the train, which is really good. I can do it on my phone because it has movie maker and I didn't even realize that it was so much easier. But, uh, yeah. Oh my gosh, so I got off the train like one stop early and it was like five minutes away from Florence and it had like Florence, it had like the um, sign but it was for a different part and so then I had to like try and get back on and the door was shutting and I like literally the door like shut on me and I had to like try and squeeze through and some people came and helped me which was super nice but I <laughs> like went through the train doors and they're shutting which is what you're not supposed to do but anyway I made it to Florence and it's now like 9 p.m. and I just went and had some pizza and now I am going to walk to my hostel which I, according to maps is like 20 minutes away so that's good and yeah I think that's all I will say for tonight because I'll probably just go to sleep but yeah I'll see you guys tomorrow and yeah